Welcome to question eight. Let's get a little bit more complicated. Let's say I have something like this. Three, a squared b, and everything inside this parentheses is to the third power. Okay, again, we just wanna, if we understand what this means, then we can figure out how to simplify it. So this means, inside the parentheses I have three times a, times a, times b. And if that's all to the third power, then I'm taking that and I'm multiplying it by itself three times. So what does this equal? Well, I start with three times three times three. Okay, three times three is nine, times three is 27. Oops. I get 27. Okay, now I'm gonna count my A's. I have one, two, three, four, five, six A's. Okay, and look, I'm just gonna do this just so you can see it nice and clear, right? There's six A's. And now I'm gonna count the B's. I have one, two, three B's. Okay, so notice I just dealt with each piece separately. And this is my answer, 27, A to the sixth, B to the third. Okay, and you, and you might observe that what that is, is that's three to the third power, right? Three to the third power is 27. This, these two got multiplied, two times three was six. And this, like, you could imagine an invisible one there, one times three is three. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, and here's where, yes, the problems are getting longer, but the key is, just be careful, write it out the long way, and don't miss anything when you're counting. Okay, what about something like this? This looks super complicated, but once again, if we just understand what each part means, then it's just a matter of keeping track of everything. So this is five times x times x times y times y times y times. Now look, this piece, this piece in parentheses is squared. That squared applies to this set of parentheses. So this is gonna be four times x times y times y. That's what's inside here, right? Because it's y squared. But that is being squared. That is being multiplied by itself twice. Okay, so now I'm ready to multiply through. Same deal as before, I'm gonna do five times four, that's 20, times four, that's 80. Now I'm gonna count the x's. One, two, three, four x's. X to the fourth. Now I'm gonna count the y's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight y's. Oops, so, sorry, let me recount those. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry about that. And here is my answer, okay? And here, are there shorter ways to do it? Mm, kind of, like you could distribute this in first and then, but if you just are always comfortable writing it out, then that'll work every time. Let's do one more. Now here, what's tricky is I'm throwing a negative number in there. So we just have to remember what happens when we multiply a negative times a negative, right? So this is negative four times n times n times p to the third power. So negative four times n times n times p, negative four times n times n times p. Okay, so here's the, the part that's kind of new. A negative times a negative is a positive. So negative four times negative four is positive 16, right? So multiply, multiply, that's times positive, this is positive 16 times negative four. So now positive times a negative is a negative, and 16 times four is 64. Okay, so now just be careful. Now let's say this was to the fourth power, then it would be, then I'd have another negative times a negative, then it would become positive again. So you just need to carefully go through step by step, okay? And then here I have one, two, three, four, five, six ends, and one, two, three Ps. And there it is, okay? You're gonna try some problems similar to this in Edge Elastic right now. So we'll set you up with number nine, number 10, and let's squeeze in 11 on this page as well. 
You might even have more space on this page, but I'm going to need to go to the top of the next page for, um, for number 12. Okay. 